Hey, hey, we're matching. Sweet jacket, bro. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here. What is Poppy? Poppy is a lot of things. Poppy is a YouTube channel, an internet personality, a singer and a songwriter, a way of life. Cal love Pappy. Cal love Pappy. Cal love Pappy. Cal love Pappy. No! Anybody but my Imagine Draggies! This new Imagine Dragons album? He's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! No! No! It's not good. Origins is the fourth full length Bye. album from Las Vegas, Imagine Nevada Dragons. pop rock band. Imagine Dragons. Following this is the track Hot Chocolate, which I never could have imagined that a song could ruin one of the best beverages ever conceived. With that cocoa too hot, too hot. So hot you will. But here we are. It's not super abstract. It's not bogged down in a pompous concept. Okay, okay, okay. But can you play it backwards? I'm sure you could, but um, I, I don't know if it would change much. Whatever. Free him! Free my boy Earl! Free him now! He's literally been free for like the past five years. We did it. We did it, everybody. We did it. Good jab. Like Spongebob and Danny Phantom and <laughs> Ben 10. And my favorite anime, too. Drake and Jash. And it's time for another installment of List Week. Come on, the beat. Come on, the beat. I'm on the, on the, on the beat. I'm on the beat, I'm on the beat. Yeah, you know I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat. You know, you know I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat, I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat. Wow, Cal, that was your best freestyle yet. How are you even coming up with these lyrics? Well, every night before I go to sleep, I just eat a page out of the dictionary to get all the words in my in my brain. I'm not sure that's how it uh, works, but that's cool. Well, my doctor says that too, but you know, the, the poop is in the pudding. You sounded really on the beat. Well, yeah, but was I as on as in as the beat as I could have be? I'm not sure that was English, but I think I catch your drift. Let's let's do another take. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat. I'm on the Guys, I'm trying to do an EPs list over here. Can can this can this wait? Well, me and my friend Nude Jackman, we gotta practice for our super best friend world tour around the world tour. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care. Not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to call someone for you, Cal? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just gonna take it day by day. Like usual. You're a monster. Uh, What's the uh, matter? Uh, What's uh, right? Uh, What's happening? Uh, 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 it's, it's fine. I am hype. Are you hype? Oh yeah, Mimi hype. Mimi most hype. No, Mimi hype. No. Mimi Mimi hype. No, Mimi Mimi hype. Mimi 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 hype. No, Mimi 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 hype. Me. 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 And it is time for a review of the brand new future album Future Hendrix presents The Wizard. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Future he doesn't make music for you. He doesn't make music for you. He doesn't make the music for you. You're not sipping that perp. You're not about that life. Please stop. Join me, everyone. Everyone, everyone join me, please, in a united prayer for the lives that we lost to Chillwave. Hipster run off. Uh, hipster run off. Hipster and off. Hipster and
dropping a few albums independently and auditioning a song for Pharrell that literally brought him to tears. It's okay to cry, Anthony. I'm, I'm too sick for this right now. You're just ashamed of your emotions, and I hate to see it, it kills me. Harvard dropout. Anything less than a 10's a cop out. Harvard dropout. I'm feeling a decent six on this thing. Good jab. Good jab. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna love hearing about this review all over the internet for the next five months. It's gonna be great. Well, you know, that's 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 how I felt, okay? It's I'm sorry. No, 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 you you're you're doing great. You're doing fine. Just keep coming out with your your garble reviews, buddy. Just keep doing it. Well, that's the life I chose. It's the life. It's the life I chose. Steeler man, Steeler man, yeah, hey, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, yeah, hey. Though the lyrics do sort of seem to focus on haters, shit talkers, naysayers, who Rivers on this song essentially paints as zombie bastards. Hey, maybe even I'm a zombie bastard. Okay, buddy, you trying to get cut? Where Mark is kind of ranting about technology and social media and it's ruining everything. Stop all the downloading! And it's time for me to go over how I listen to an album. Ears. Use your ears. Yeah, that, that is literally how one hears, but this was going to be more about my methodology. Well, for my meth head OMG, it's the ears. The ears. Okay. Uh, this Nav album, it's, um... No, please, anything but this. Uh, You're doing it two times to my boy. It's... The greatest rapper of all time. It's not good. <laughs> okay, because my love, my love for Billy, I've written a poem. Billy, Billy Eilish. Why are you so stylish? I will buy this album. Thank you. Generally, the production here, it's wah, 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 The whole thing makes me want to throw on some lipstick, my prettiest dress, and just lay back and stare into space longingly. What? I'm going to have a conversation with you about the significance of album art and how it impacts our perception of the albums themselves. Now believe it- Oh wowie gee, I am the cow man. Look at me. Oh boy do I love the pretty pictures on the music boxes. Callert, are you feeling okay? Some Something seems off. I'm feeling rather dandy. Right as the rain. Okay, I mean, fine, but uh, I'm pretty sure you're not, Cal. Wait, is it already Tuesday? I think I'm going to throw up. Okay, look at the time. <laughs> it's time to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Time to go. Even though I do identify very directly with the sentiment of the song of just leaving fishies alone, letting them be, uh, not eating animals and letting them live naturally. Hey, you stop shoving your vegan prepper ganders down my throat. I can eat what I want to eat. Leave me alone. Yeah. And the 13 songs on this record see Logic trying his hand at acoustic balladry, indie pop, alternative rock, all of his attempts of which turn out pretty awful. Oh yeah, bro. I'm a big Logic fan, but even that album to me, big cringe. So big cringe. And it's time for a review of the new Denzel Curry project, Zoo. Hey! Hey, how's, how's it going? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, did, did you hear this project? Hey! Yeah, you, you liking it? Hey! That's, that's cool, I think. Alright, well, the, thanks for appearing in the video. Hey. Hey! Featuring Dylan Brady as well as o o o Snow One. O Snow One, is that how you say that? Also known as Laura Less. I'm feeling a decent too strong one on this one. Transition, have you given this EP a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. 
Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano. Wait! You forgot to wear the red flannel, you big dumb stupid idiot. Dumb dumb big dumb idiot. Oh, damn. I see you, buddy, with that red tap. I can't believe you're gonna do my boy Jaden like this two, two, three times. Why you gotta do it? He's, he's an angel. He's just an angel. He's just trying to help. He's just trying to help. He's trying to get you to, to use your mind with his raps. He's got smart raps. He's a smart rap man. He, you're, you're, you're a jerk. You're a big old jerk. And I hate you. I hate you. Rock and roll, baby. Oh boy. Daddy's some cringe. Uh, 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 uh. Burp. Uh, uh, uh. Burp. Uh, uh. Burp. Uh, uh. I'm burping. I'm burping too. Uh, 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 I'm all burped out. Uh, 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 I tell ya. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hi everyone, Pepthony Pig, Pig Tano, Tano here, here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new debut Peppa the Pig album. It I'm hungry. <sighs> Hi everyone, Pigthony Oink Tano, Tano here, here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new debut album from Peppa the Pig. It's I'm the... I'm very hungry! <sighs> Hi, everyone. It's... Pig the Knee Tail here. Me hungry! Come on. Come on. Hi, everyone. Pig, Pig the Knee Tail Tano, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Peppa Pig album, My First please, Album. Please, please, be hungry. I don't care. I don't care if you're hungry. Uh, what happened to the cereal bars that I put in the closet three weeks ago? I finished them like a week ago. Well, it is your job to spread them out so that, that they last. The vet said last week that you're overweight and we need to feed you less and I have no idea how you're, you're staying at this weight. Look, this is not how a man can live, okay? I'm a hungry boy. This is not nice. This is inhumane. This whole food thing, it's not nice. And let me tell you, you're gonna be sorry. You're gonna be real sorry. Okay, so on to this record, like uh, like Pink Balloon. Pink Balloon, Pink Balloon. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Pink, Pink Balloon. Pink Balloon. It's um, <laughs> it's songs like that <laughs> that, have, that have built Peppa up to the point where she has the experience and the singing and the know-how and the songwriting ability to put out an album like this, like this, to put to put out an album of Peppa Peppa on it. You have, you have to have feed me. No, be no, sorry. sorry. Lisa, Lisa needs braces. Brace. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you eating? Bacon. <clears throat> bacon. Bacon. You're, uh, eating bacon. Is it, uh, soy bacon? Yeah, that's what she said. She said? Who, sh who she said what? What? The pig. Before I ate it, she said, yo soy bacon. Oh god. Oh god. No. Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. No. It is vegetarian. Oh, r wait, really? Yes, the pig's name was Pepper. That's a vegetable. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh god. We're having a bad dream there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, just up late reviewing, just fell asleep. I don't know why you sleep there. You you have a whole bed. <sighs> well, are you hungry? I mean, I I do I do feel a little hungry, yeah. Yeah, I could use something to eat. Maybe some bacon? Oh god. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> I'm a hungry boy. I am genuinely feeling like a strong zero on this record. It's it's like a strong zero to a light one. It's a strong zero to a light one. Boom 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 papel papel boom boom. Hey, you did a uh, lots of negative reviews and you unlocked a super special reviewer challenge item. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not interested in that. Behold, I give to you the infinity flannel. It's got all the flannel colors, the reds and the greens and the whites and the, the yellows. No, it just looks really dumb. It looks, it looks stupid. You don't want it? It's it's a it's a nice flannel. It's perfectly good. No, I, I don't I don't think it's very good. I'm not gonna I'm not wearing that. It looks it's probably doesn't even fit fit good. You're a jerk. You're a real jerk, buddy. It's a completely good thing. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it now. Uh, overall though, care package. More like the I don't really care all that much package. Woo! That was funny. That was very funny. That was very funny. That was a funny joke. That was very funny. I like how funny that was. That was funny. Thank you. Thank you. You you go, boy. Because, listen, as, as much as it may seem like it's the contrary to some people out there, it, it's not like I gear up for these reviews thinking, Mwahahaha, yes, another album I can give a negative review to. Ah. Okay, what about when you said this? Mwahahaha, yes. Another album I can give a negative review to. Ah. That was me saying that out of context just now. You still said it, though. You still said it. Uh, are you ready? Ready, Freddy. Okay. We don't need this lame ass album. Just seems like you're trying to troll. Hope you wrote big checks to Scallon. Critic, leave the wall alone. Hey, hey Critic. Leave the wall alone. All in all, it's just not very funny at all. All in all, it's just not very funny at all. We don't need this awful album. Wondering if you have a soul Hope you made it rain on Scallon Critic, leave the wall alone Hey, Critic Leave the, the wall, wall alone. All in all, it's just not very funny at all. All in all, it's just not good. It's not good. And I don't want them to slip through the cracks on you, so I point uh, just your eyes to them uh, one more time and just to say, hey, make sure you hear this, because I think it's pretty good. Yeah, like the new one from Metallica. Huh? There's there's a new album from, from Metallica? Right here, buddy. Check them out. Brand new from Metallica. That's the new one. Those are socks. <clears throat> Could have fooled me. Can I... 
You like review them anyway? Uh, well, good colors. A nice master of puppets embroidery. They look like they're made of good material. Uh, I wish I had a pair. Bet you already do. Ride the lightning. And Wu-Tang sacks. And Kid Cudi sacks. Stance, that cam. Is that where I get sock? Yes. Yes. Shh. Don't tell anyone, but there's a 10% off link in the description box, too. This thing is out now via Run For Cover Records, and admittedly, I am kind of late to the party. Woo woo! Party! So far as One Direction members going solo are concerned, Harry has shown the most potential. As Zayn and Liam, as well as Niall, have all put out their own solo works, I haven't got the same sense that they have artistic abilities and tastes that extend as far as Harry's. Don't you forget about my boy Lewis, though. He's gonna put out the best album next year. 10 out of 10, 20 out of 20. Lewis, 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 Lewis. Last week. Last week. Last week. Last week. Last week. Last week! Last week! Last week! Last week! Oh yeah! 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 The 10 worst songs of the year. Oh no, Andy, don't tell me you're gonna hate on my girl Igly Zalia! The girl Sally Wacker whacking down the street. She crossed the street to say hi to me. No, as hard as it is to admit that song, Kind of slaps. Thank the Lord. And it's time for a review of the new Green Day album, Father of All. That's all the title? I see another word there, though. Is that a mud? A mud? It says brother frienders. Oh, okay. People who make friends with brothers. Oh. That's what it says. And I, I just don't see why when he does this, why, why do you need to do the accent? Why do you need to do the accent? You are not from the fucking UK. Just like it was silly as shit when you were doing your fake patois thing for project after project, for song after song, this is sillier. Oh fam, it's a mad ting, isn't it? <sighs> and it's time for a review of the new Car Seat Headrest album, making a door less open. Hey, hey. Over here. You mean like this? Like that? Yeah, but keep going. Like this? Perfect. There's also Deadlines, which is a song that's like a hybrid of the strokes and a heavy blaring alt-rock chorus. You see it's new, but not necessarily abnormal. Though, I have to say, I was disappointed to hear the band embrace this all-too-common deathcore stereotype when they wrote this really great gloomy passage around the midsection and then suddenly transitions it into a, a slightly slower version without really adding all that much to it. Shut up, beta boy! That part's for the pit! Hit! Hit! Uh, in all my years, I never thought it would end like this. Help me, Cal! I can't, buddy! Looks like we're surrounded on this one! No! Not only am I gonna die, I'm gonna die with you! Ah. Wait! I've got it! Just say the words! I hope you're not serious. Saying them for a third time could be dangerous! Annie, you got it! It's our only hope! This new Nav album it's not good! Uh, Though it's hard to go wrong trying any one Ka record because he is easily one of the most consistent artists in the underground. The poetic and spoken word-ish tone of his delivery, his quality over quantity approach to writing, his smoky, understated voice, cinematic production choices. The way he plays the mandolin. A brink, a brink, a brink. No, I don't think he does that in his music. Number one, baby! 
Number one album in the country, baby! Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Number one, number one, number one, number one! What you got to say to that, hater? It's fine. I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm glad people like his music. No, you're not. No, you don't. You're a hater. You hate him. Nav stays winning! 2020 has been the most hellish year in recent memory, and I think as music fans, we should feel appreciative and grateful that some of our favorite artists uh, even have the will to drop a song or a cover during this time, much less an entire album. Andy, I know it's been crazy lately, but I gotta tell you, man, I, I, I'm so happy I'm here. I wouldn't want to be locked up with anybody but you. You're my sun, you're my moon, you're my stars, you're my blue sky, you're my blue jay, you're my blue I'm in need of a guy, my gabba gee, gabu ga, gabu gee, babu ga. You're my blue blue, my blue boy, my blue boo blue boo. I love you, buddy. And it is time for a review of the new Gunna album, Wanna. Well, don't you got something to say? I'm not sure if there is anything to say at this point. Come on, man. You looks like a Jimmy Neutron character on the front cover. It's gotta be dank. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's definitely his best. It's his best, but it's not good? Yeah, and I get that sounds weird, but Gunna has sort of perfected something here. An album that is impossible to like, but also impossible to hate. Sounds pretty boring to me. Not entirely. It's like the album was engineered to be so passive, so neutral, so wallpaper. It's like I was being robbed of my ability to feel any way about it whatsoever. You okay there, Anthony? There's definitely a chill vibe to it, but nothing so great or terrible that it would shake you out of the mind-numbing stupor it puts you in. So mind-numbing, it's like you're having an out-of-body experience. Okay, now you're starting to scare me. It was like I was falling deeper and deeper into a stimulationless abyss, all of my senses slowly shutting down until... Philosophically speaking, I was a floating brain in a jar. Well, uh, what was the best track? Nothing. What was the worst track? Nothing. Don't you get it? This is more than just an album, dude. It's like experiencing death and living to tell about it. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Don't you move. <laughs> Would you look at this fleshy vessel? It's disgusting. That's why I can't deny myself the sweet release of the void any longer. And you're coming with me. No! Forever. You and me would come from different worlds. You like to laugh at me when I look at other girls. Sometimes you're crazy and you wonder why. I'm such a baby who the dolphins make me cry. Hey everyone in quarantine land, Anthony Fantano here. You know who it is. I hope you're doing well, keeping it together. I know things are tough right now. And things during this time can get a little bit crazy. Yes. So remember right now, uh, making the most rational decisions for yourself and, and those around you is the best bet, is the best call. Uh, don't do anything that would put yourself or your loved ones in danger. And uh, just, you know, just just stay strong. Stay strong and, and know that uh, uh, you're important and you matter and your life has value and all that stuff. And, uh, and treat yourself like that. Treat yourself like you would treat a very important thing that you love. And same thing with the actual important things that you love that you exist around. The people, places, and things that you exist in and with. Cool? Cool. All right, I love you, okay?
You know, it's one thing for an album to be so inconsistent in terms of sound and style, and it's another thing for a band who is adopting so many different styles to not be putting a fresh twist on those sounds to the point where they are coming off essentially like a cover band. Woo! Shout out to covers bands! I love covers bands! Also, does this track not have the laziest and most useless intro melody ever? If he didn't care about the catchiness of his songs, I don't think he would go through the trouble of forcing out a song titled Cap, hoping it would catch on because Cap and No Cap are such popular slang terms right now. That's Cap! No, it's not. That's the opposite of what you mean. Cap on my head! Taller than the maca when I gotta stack it up. Now she's sounding like Chewbacca when she back it up? <laughs> Sometimes I do think fandoms, even small ones, do need a bit of a gut check. Heh! <laughs> That's what you think, Melon Boy! Dance, Melon Boy! Dance! Dance for me, Melon Boy! Dance for me! Dance! Also, the way that she was able to embody that spoken word, you know, voguing Madonna uh, type of vocal style on that track and, and just um, tribute it so perfectly here it was uh, uh, just something to behold. Eat it! Bite some cheese, pray to Jesus! Get on your knees! If you're itchy, you might have fleas! And... It, save the bees! And what the hell is Satomi saying on this track? Is she saying, why would you shoot my bumbies? Not the little Bambi babies! Anything but the Bambi babies! And it is time for a review of the new Run the Jewels album, RTJ4. New York rapper, producer, LP. <laughs> Atlanta rapper, Killer Mike. Boom, 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 boom! Run the Jewels. Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! RTJ4! Greet! Greet! Great. That is also very much up my alley. Do you know how many Swans albums I own? Please take these. He just won't stop playing them. The next track, whose title I am butchering, Oikamilisin Sali. There's no coming back from that one. Then there is Range Rover Sports Truck, which in terms of like... Asinine lyrics, annoying flow, just trashy instrumental. It's it's about as bad as it gets. While also, a uh, Cal is like already written a song like this, and it's terrible. Got my rubber duck in my pickup truck. Got my pickup truck with my rubber duck. Got my. I deal with music fans day in and day out who are Chloe and Halle's age that don't know what the fuck a Scott Storch is. This is a scat stench. It sounds like being a part of an elite fighting force of fighter pilots riding intergalactic ships firing photon torpedoes at alien enemy ships while on steroids. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Great performance, flawless production, boisterous ending, it is pop perfection. Don't want to, don't want to, don't want to give up on you. This is the fourth full-length LP from UK pop singer and songwriter Jesse Ware. I don't know. You don't know what? Where Jesse? I don't know. She in here? She over there? Can't tell you. <sighs> yeah, this new g Easy record, it's not good. What is this? I am just bewildered as to how trash this is. Like, Cal Chuchesta doesn't even like it. Nope. I have nothing nice to say about this music album. And when Cal doesn't like it, when Cal Chuchesta cannot find even one redeeming quality about your record, you, you know it sucks. Which sounds like the kind of blues rock you hear blasting over dining room speakers at a TGI Fridays while you down a rack of ribs for 1969. Don't forget to wear a mask! And the all too familiar voice of the Thalia computer program between tracks giving us useless factoids about what Logic and his crew were doing during the recording of the album. While writing this review, Anthony ate some potato chips and drank water at 1 a.m. Uh, thank you? Live, laugh, 
Love. Plus, I do find Brandon Flowers to be one of the most dramatic and captivating frontmen in modern rock when he is on a great track. Oh, he's so dreamy. I'm sweating. My heart's pounding. And meanwhile, I'm in a club where all the loud music and, and lights is uh, making my, my brain freak out. Whoa! 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 The singles also account for just under half the tracks of this 12-song, 37-minute album, her shortest project to date. Then came the title announcement with all of the clown imagery. I mean, I'm not afraid of clowns, obviously. He he ha ha hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo he he ha ha hoo. Seriously, there are portions of this record that during a headphone listen especially just sound like the world melting away around me as I fall into a multicolored abyss. Like this thing with the binky? <sighs> Yes, the binky meme, uh, essentially. It is a futuristic, synthetic, grand display of sound with some classical undertones to it. And of course, all of it is anchored by that trademark yodel that you've heard, like, in, in all of the old Yahoo commercials. Yeah this is the debut album of Blackpink, one of the most predominant K-pop groups operating today. K-pop? More like... K-poop! It's just a genre of music, bro. Just get over yourself. Okay, I will do that. And we'll show more maturity and grace into the future. Uh, people don't listen to shit unless it has sex appeal. Ah. As if sex appeal in hip hop or mainstream music in general is a new thing. You know, not only were there video vixens in the 80s and 90s, but the Nelly tip drill video is now 20 years old. Swipe that credit card through the booty. Lord, is this album horny. So much, we're actually gonna give it a horny warny, which uh, I believe is the first time we've ever had to do that, but it is necessary in this case. I'm feeling a strong three to a light four on this thing, Tran. Why are you so mean? Everything you say is mean. You're like the Grinch, but for music, you're the Grinch of music. Nobody likes you. Tran? Uh. 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 But, 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 but,